it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, this is Starblade on the Sega Mega CD, or Sega CD if you prefer. And, well that start looked very familiar, didn't it? I don't know which came out first at home. I know which came out first, like, the arcade version of this was before Star Fox, Star Wing significantly before but I don't know about the home versions um, Star Fox was very obviously based on Star Blade so obvious it, it, it's almost painfully glaringly obvious that they've seen this and thought hey that's really cool but the thing with Star Fox is it's actually well certainly compared to this a better game because the thing with this is, it is very much on rails. I mean, Star Fox, yes, you had a set path that you took, but you had some control within that path. Here, you have nothing but control of the crosshair. Everything else is all predefined, which actually makes it really quite boring. And what that also had, which this completely lacked, is characterization. Um, there, There is... There's nothing to give this any kind of appeal. Now, I think if I... If it was 1990-whatever, and this was newly out, and I had a Mega CD, I didn't have one back in the day, and I played this, I would actually be quite impressed. Um, I don't know if I would be so impressed if I played the arcade version, because I don't think that used the polygon graphics for the active elements that... I say polygon, I mean the um, vector graphics for the active elements that you're meant to shoot at. I, I don't... I never played it in the arcade, so I'm not actually sure what identified the things you were meant to shoot at. But here, they're vectors instead of polygons. And I've completely forgot, I've lost my train of thought. What was the point I was trying to make? Can't remember. Um, yeah, but I, I think I would have been quite pleased with this as a home game. Because um, it's... There is something impressive about it. I like 3D, even pseudo-faux 3D, you know, where it, it, it is just streaming it off of a disc. But I like the way it looks. Um, but I think if I'd played Star Fox, I'd be like, what the hell? Because it is is very very is rigid is the best way I can describe this. It. It's not wooden. It responds well. It looks impressive for the time, given the limitations of the system it's running on. I remember reading magazines, uh, computer and video games. Probably I don't think it was Edge. No, I don't think Edge was out then. It might have been Ace actually. Ace was good. I liked that. Um, and I remember reading about the arcade game. And they, uh, oh dear, they said pretty much, well, looks fantastic, but it's limited gameplay because it's on rails, and that, that's about the size of it. It does, it's got that wow factor in terms of visuals for the time. Come on, uh, ooh, struggling to, uh, there, that's what I wanted to do. It is difficult, actually, to target ships with the crosshair using the, this god on my oh my eyes there we go I died press start yeah we'll we'll just carry on from there I hope it's from there and we're not going back to the start please somewhere around there yeah yeah uh, forgot what I was saying interrupted by death so inconvenient when you die mid-sentence. It's not what you need. Making a what? Yeah, it's it's difficult to target some of the enemies because the, the you need a mouse or something like the Atari controller from Star Wars.
What turn? Again, quick turn was that. Uh, making an apple turnover, perhaps. That would be nice. Could do some flapjack while in space, perhaps as well. You need that. You need the uh, oh cover hot. Yes. Need the carbohydrates while fighting alien enemies. Flapjack, apple turnover, something. I'm, I know they're not the same thing, but it just... It's the first thing that came into my head, all right. Picnic in space. Who's got the strawberries? Him, him, he, oh dear. Well, kill him then. Come here, come here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, these aren't really so impressive. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Here we go. We're going to die. We are so going to die. What the hell's that thing doing? My eyes! Oh. I think I said that before. I like that one push of the button fires a burst and in fact continues to keep firing but if you, you just I don't know if hammering the button makes any difference at all it, I do like this is the lack of colours from the hardware are kind of limiting so it's having to use that dithering or stippling effect call it what you like um, which on a CRT doesn't really look too bad, but on a, a on an LCD it's pretty ropey. I don't know to what extent you'll see them on the camera. Oh dear. Well, make up your mind. Up or down? Can't see me. There it is. Oh. Hello, team leader. He sounds like he's flung a Lancaster in World War Two. Hello, team leader. Hello, team leader. Tally ho, chaps. Go again. Got a 109 on my tail. Going down, chaps. Uh. Ooh. Can't tell what's solid and what's hollow. No idea. Basically, if it glows, shoot it, and if it doesn't, shoot it and stuff. Oh dear. Hello, things are blowing up. That's probably good. Oh dear. We're going to die again soon then. Yeah, about now, probably. Yep, no, we're still alive. That's surprising. What's that located? It's only like located angry flagship. I bet he's angry. We've just gone and blown up a lot of his stuff. I think he said enemy, but it sounded like angry. Here we go. They wanted to do the Death Star, but George Lucas had already done it. So they just put a big spot on a moon. Or oh, that's no moon. Maybe. I don't know. We're still alive. Red Eye is shielded by special energy shields. Yeah. There are enemy access packages. Yeah. We have located a passage and are headed for office. We've never seen Star Wars. Honest. This was all our own idea. Please don't sue us, George. Oh, God, I'm going to puke if it does that much more. We don't have to worry about locating anything because the game will do it for us. Isn't that nice? Just shoot everything. Forget about the storyline, if there is one. I don't know what the difference is between the white ones and the red ones and the stuff. I imagine bits like th that 
on the arcade hardware, hardware, hardware. If you were sitting in the arcade cab, is it like a sit-down one, big one with a big screen in front of you, and it, it was like proper crisp, solid graphics with no. Oh dear. It would impress. You'd be like, whoa, as you swoop over stuff. Um, not so much on here, but still, it's all right. It's not. Star Fox, it's not as much fun, but obviously it predates it, and um, it ain't bad, you know, for all its flaws, uh, I'm, I would not call that a bad game. Flawed, kind of rigid, well very rigid actually, but yeah, it's alright, yeah, I won't knock it. Here I am, not managing to say anything remotely coherent, meaningful or interesting, so I will shut up now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the thumbs up button. I upload videos daily, so go ahead and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. To all those who've already subscribed, I'd just like to say a great big thank you.